Well, hey there, everybody. How's it going? Embrace the Matrix coming at you again with another voiceover because I'm sure you just can't get enough of me talking about these paintings and whatever else comes into my mind. So, this one I've been sitting on. Well, uh, I haven't actually been sitting on it. That would be unfortunate for the painting um I, this one's been done for a little while i've uh, just been trying to get some other things other videos done and stuff like that but this one i've been really psyched to get out there because i'm really really um really excited on how this one came out i'm really really uh, satisfied at its simplicity yet subtle complexity and that's what I'm calling it. Well, that's not what I'm calling it. I'm actually going to call it Confliction. But nonetheless, um, I've done stuff like this before. You know, I've done a lot of masking and painting. And just so you're up to speed, I already painted the background somehow, some way. I lost the footage. I mean, when you record as much as I do, you're bound to lose a clip here and there. And you know that I have done that in the past. So I apologize, but... It's just a pyro red background. I'm pretty sure I use pyro, uh, golden pyro red. For all you art uh, freaks out there that want to know the specifics, which I, I, I'm like that too. So, yeah, it's the pyro red uh, mixed with gloss gel medium, and I'm pretty sure I did it twice. Um, by that I mean I went over the background twice. Um, not that you can't get good coverage with one, but I don't know. I'm just weird like that. I want extra coverage, and I want it to be um, to make sure it's thorough. Here's me fumbling with the tape. This is this is great right here. I literally that I sped these videos up. I literally probably spent I don't know a good solid five minutes trying to find the end of this tape. How dumb is that? Um, it just there we go. Yeah, yeah, hey, there we go. Now we're getting started. Um, yeah, it was pretty stupid. I was getting frustrated because uh, this is a brand new roll of quarter inch um, blue painters tape. Um, so yeah, I was getting a little frustrated. I could not find where it began. So as you can see, I did. I taped off the border, you know, with my. I think it's 0.88 inch um, blue painters tape, and um, and uh, now we're going for uh, you know, as now mind you, I didn't get the uh, protractor out or any type of uh, ruler for this part. Um, I'm literally just going by sight. Um, I do obviously the center first, corner to corner, because it's a 24 by 24 inch. Uh, canvas and yeah I just uh, I center it off on the points of the corners and then uh, go in from there and obviously I'm trying to gap it you know gap in between each tape a quarter of an inch um, so it's it's all sight and I don't have any logic or any type of calculations for how I, I do it and it seems to come out pretty even and pretty straightforward it's just um, yeah paying attention to what you're doing <laughs> I guess I don't know like just being focused and I usually got some music or a podcast going and I'm just sitting there chilling just grooving getting these tapes on um, but I gotta I gotta be honest for all you listeners out there I'm really digging, I've, and if, if, if you've followed any of my stuff and seen any of my things, I've, you know, the Lifelines thing is big, huge for, you know, uh, a huge series that I've done, and I just, I love doing it. I don't know, I think I'm just the line guy. I don't know, I think I just really like lines and what you can do with lines and how you can make them intersect, which I discovered whilst doing this painting 
and I can tell you this, if you like this painting and you like the style and this, the imagery you're going to see, then be get ready to be happy because I plan on doing a lot more like this. Um, uh, there are, you know, it's obviously time consuming and not in a horrible way, but it, it takes a while to mask this stuff off and especially with such precision um, as to be expected by, you know, somebody that calls himself Embrace the Matrix, right? So anyways, yeah, so like I'm getting to the end here and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I'm, this is great. I'm getting to the end. Only got a couple more to go and I, and I realize, oh shit, I got to do the whole other side. Damn it. Um, and to be honest, I didn't know if I was going to continue the pattern or go against, you know, do it um, against the pattern. Um, but then it hit me. No, no, no. We're going to keep going with the pattern. Um, and because I, at this point, up until this point, I just knew I was going to start putting tape on a canvas. And at, at that, uh, the, the point where I started doing the second side, I realized um, what we're going to do in uh, in full. It just happens like that. Poof. Snap your fingers. And, you know, you could be doing something and have an idea but not sure where it's headed. And then uh, just, just kind of go with the flow. And I've said it a million times, you know, a million and one, that... That's how I, I paint. I, I have an idea, but it's certainly not a strict idea, and I just get to it. I just start, you know, getting paint on canvas, and in this case, getting the masking tape out, <coughs> and uh, going for it, and seeing what um, what comes of it, you know. And again, with this much, you know, when it takes this long to um, put the tape down. Ah, excuse me. Um, you know, I mean, you, you look. You, 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 at this point, you know what it's going to look like. It's, um, you know, it's going to be black and red lines. Yay, black and red lines. Ah, uh, but it, you know, as simple as it is, it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be really cool. You'll you'll see. You'll see. Nah, I mean, you probably already seen the thumbnail, so you kind of already see what's going to happen. But man, come on be honest it's 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 not the same unless you just close your eyes hit play and then follow through to the end you know i almost should stop putting a thumbnail up of the finished painting that way people aren't sure but then again that's what the lure is i guess you see that oh i really want to see how that came to be you know i don't know for all i know you just skip through it <laughs> you know the video but i don't care because these ones if you skip through it you might miss some cool shit that i'm going to say so i wouldn't want to skip through it I, don't know, I just just discovered my YouTube analytics page, and I was looking at the analytics of my channel as uh, infantile uh, in, in inception that it is. Um, you know, we're extremely a young channel out here. We're just like we just popped out of the badgeroni. Um, did you ever hear anybody call it a badgeroni? Never, but you did today. So. <clears throat> Yeah, as infantiles are, it looks like it's uh, a little more women than men enjoy my channel. Uh, although a lot of men are watching, uh, it's a little bit more women. Not uh, hugely different. It's almost split, but there are more ladies out there watching the videos, and I appreciate that. I like I like anybody to watch them to be honest. Get your dog to watch them. Set, set your dog up with the YouTube channel and get him just so I can snatch a few more likes uh, or views. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't even really care about that shit that much. It's nice to see that people watch my videos and you know I get more than a couple of views. And you know lately I've been getting some nice positive comments and I want to thank everybody. And you know who you are who's really been saying some positive things. I really appreciate it. You know, unfortunately, we live in a perpetually negative world with media and bullshit like that. Fortunately, I stay I stay as far away from the mainstream media uh, and just TV in general. I am, as a, on a personal note, I haven't had cable in almost ten years, meaning I haven't had you know any type of TV. Uh, I've never had it, and even though I have a kid now. That doesn't matter because I never will. 
I'm not going to subject him to all that because if you think about it, if you really think about it, if you're just watching your TV, cable, whatever, pretty much all they're doing is instilling fear and, you know, making you want to buy things. So, fear throughout the media and, you know, even a lot of the TV shows, you know, there's a lot of TV shows out there, even on regular TV and certainly cable, that are pretty violent. I mean, I watched a few episodes of Sons of Anarchy and I mean, I'm, you know, I'm that kind of guy that used to go hunting for the nastiest, grossest things on the internet. And I've seen every kind of beheading, you know, murder, whatever, you know, there's, there's plenty of sites out there that get you there. But, um, uh, but yeah, the stuff they show, they, like the stuff on Sons of Anarchy, I thought it was pretty brutal for TV or, you know, cable or whatever. I was like, but that's cool, man. It's just not my thing anymore. I'm just not into it, you know. I'd rather laugh or be amused. Uh, I like, I'm like more like comedies and thrillers and dramas and stuff. I'm not really that much into the horror thing as like I was. I still like some of it, more of the psychological things, but their stuff. But anyways, I'm talking through the I'm talking through the uh, the good part here. I'm sorry. How how rude of me. Look at this. One by one, they come off. One by one, I have learned many a lesson while painting. One being, don't try to rip all the damn tape off at the one at the same time, dummy. So one by one, I took each one of these off. I was gonna make sure that this came out perfecto for you all. So yeah, watch it. Just maybe I'll just be quiet for just a second. You can watch that excitement, that ex wonderfulness. Okay, you done? You done? Are you are y'all squidgy now? Okay. This really is the best part. For me. You know, it's like all that hard work is paid off. Ah, yes. Rip them one at a time. One by one. Isn't it pleasurable? Isn't it exciting? Well, you're here now. So you watched me get dressed. You might as well watch me take my clothes off. You know what I mean? That's exactly what's happening right now. We're stripping for you. Yeah, I feel it. You see it? Nasty. No, you're nasty. Because you're thinking them thoughts. You know what you are. But anyways, here we go. We're just ripping away. But yes, in all honesty, I learned the hard way before. And a couple other paintings I've done similar to this style is that you take one off at a time if you get if you get like crazy and you're like oh, i don't want to take one off at a time and you go to try to take a whole bunch and they slip out of your hand because you know i do it I, the other thing too is i do it while it's still wet so i paint it and then i gotta peel it because i've left um i've left the tape on let it dry and you know being that you know acrylic is acrylic paint is basically you know plastic or whatever um, it would, uh, it might, it would rip chunks off, you know, so it wouldn't leave nice clean edges. They'd be all jagged and haggard looking. So, yeah, so I realized that's, that's what I mean. You have to be really careful because you're peeling it wet. Again, it, it, you know, maybe other people have had success letting it dry, but I don't know the way I mix my paint or whatever. I mean, I, I, I try to paint and get the paint to lift off the canvas a little. So that's why I kind of like using gel mediums and stuff. And especially you got to think when you're putting tape down and then you're paying, you're kind of filling a crevice, you know, uh, a very, very short, you know, crevice. But nonetheless, so the paint is sitting on top of that red. The black, I mean, is sitting on top of the red and it looks just, uh, you know, I just think it's just, it gives it that 3D, that subtle 3D effect where, you know, it's just sitting up over it. And I mean, I could layer it up. I could... Put the fan on it, let it dry a little, then slap more on. But I, I don't want to get too crazy. Um, here I had to break out the T square because um, um, what my my what I'm trying to do here is mask off the inside, which I've told many told you guys before. This is even more stressful. Not really, not now for me, but 
Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm using a very sharp X-Acto knife, cutting down. I'm not, you'll see I, I've got the, uh, the pressure just right where I just cut through the tape. I don't even touch, I don't even touch the paint. Um, because, oh man, to put an X-Acto blade through this right about now, you just, I would be, I'd put the video up, but you'd see me crying like getting very upset but um but yeah that's just i just wanted to make sure i had this perfectly straight so I bust out the t-square um make sure I'm, I'm getting things lined up as best i can get the tape because yeah once you're trying to do a border um it's uh it's tough it's tough um to get like the center done and I like to do the inside first, then do a border, if I'm doing a border at all. So, the, yeah, I, I maybe I'm making it harder on myself, I don't know. But you'll see I, why I couldn't do it the other way, in a sense, because I'm going to use a textured medium for this border. So this is kind of the boring part. I'm just putting tape on, filling it in. I'm not even doing the whole thing. I'm not, I don't need to because I'm only gonna come in you know obviously off that like pretty much one inch border but I don't want any accidents I don't want any slippage I'm not gonna be slopping paint on but you just you know be careful protect this uh, beautiful sexiness so yeah so we're just tape 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 so how's your weekend going doing well it's uh, I'll tell you right now exactly it's Saturday afternoon 12 p.m. Uh, 12.53 p.m. on November the 5th. And I might even publish this video today because what the hell. So now we get out the bucket. That's gloss gel medium for all you newbies. This is the glass beads medium or it's some kind of like, I don't even know if it's glass beads, but it's like, it's like a creamy goo with some literally like beads in it I think they're plastic but maybe they're glass I don't know so I put a little gloss gel medium I put a few dollops of that uh, glass bead Liquitex stuff and then I put your color in and then mix away but yeah what it basically does is it, it just gives your paint this little the beady texture I don't know it's weird I, I like it you know I think it's kind of cool um uh, I, I've only messed around with it a couple times, but you know, since how I'm gonna, you'll see I'm not gonna like paint smooth paint on. I'm gonna kind of just like dab it on and just give it some craziness. So, but when you get those be, and I'm making it thick and and gloppy. And I'll tell you this right now, because you're gonna see the final picture if you haven't already, and you're gonna notice. You're gonna say, "Where's the border in the picture?" Listen, I tried so hard to get a perfect photo. I take photos, all my own photos. I have a uh, DSLR camera, a freaking ridiculous, ridiculously expensive camera. And I, I take these things outside, try to get the natural light. And dude, this one would not square up. I even put a nail in the side of my deck so I could just hang it outside. Usually I just let prop them up, I angle my camera down a little, you know, I get the right angles, and you know, I, all, all my pictures I think come out pretty good. But this one would not let me get a per, you know, when you have this one inch border when you're taking a photo of it, and it's, you know, obviously 24 by 24 inch. I'm trying to get it to square up, and I don't know, I'm, no, I'm, I'm barely, you know, an artist let alone uh, a photographer so I, I have I've tried to take the time to learn but I think it was wasn't with the camera it was with just that the angle you know I wasn't getting her level or some such shit but anyways so when I took it I could not get the um, border so sorry um, you just have to come out to uh, Cleveland Ohio and see it for yourself in person but yeah I could so the photo that I have that'll be online is just like the inside and I I've, I tried like four separate attempts um, 
to get photos and just wasn't happening so same thing with this the stuff is still wet that's why you see me being somewhat delicate um, with my moving it around but basically I'm just like dabbing and dolloping and you know creating some craziness I thought about adding some highlights maybe throwing a little white or something in there but nope I said F that we're gonna keep it black black as night with little beads gotta have little beads like that word beads that sound funny so you know of course it's wet we're being careful taking off strip at a time remember we learned our lesson don't try to just yank a whole bunch off um, one at a time it comes off this isn't as exciting as, as the other lines so we can't get all squidgy on this this part I mean it can you know it gives you a nice nice clean border I mean you're gonna see here in a second you got bird's eye view oh here we go look whoosh, look at that perfection well almost yeah it's pretty good <laughs> I think at this point it looked dope and at this point it I knew what I was gonna do but I didn't know how I wanted to do it so this this, this painting as it is I let it dry and it sat like this for like a week or two it was a while um, and as you see I already started taping and then I hit the record button because sometimes I forget to hit record and it's not because I'm stoned or drunk or something it's just uh, I get too excited to forget to hit record so I realized what I was going to do and it was going to be this but I was trying to measure everything off and I want it to be as square as possible and I even think even with my half ass measuring I still think it's off a little bit but hey it's abstract art it's not perfection art so here we go again with the tape and I think you can see where we're going with this now even at this point I was like well I'm going to crisscross these lines and then I'm going to put white paint on this and I'm just going to like put thick white paint how's it going to turn out I don't know but I think it turned out dope as as F A F dope A F let's talk uh, internet talk dope A F so yeah I, I like it because you know what it's been ringing in my head that um, I did another painting like this and I think it was uh white uh why wild light measures or something i can't remember but i did a similar thing and then i hit it with the, the my spray gun of white and i remember a guy commenting and said he liked the way it looked with the lines like this but i ruined it by hitting it with the white spray gun or whatever i did with that one and putting like almost like a gunshot look so that just always been in my head and i was like man i go i, I think he's right i mean it, it, you need to simplify it make it simple make it um you know that's why I, I thought the name too confliction would be perfect for this just the way it looks and i'm sorry i've said it i've said this before too you know you can watch these videos and i, I appreciate every one of you that watches and sits through all of them sometimes these things are 20 minutes long and stuff and i know you're all busy and got lives and you know you're trying to be entertained that's why i'm starting to do more voiceovers and stuff so you can you know watch something cool and listen to some goofball act silly but nonetheless um you know they just never look as good on video as they do in person um, they just don't especially when I varnish them because I, you don't see that so you know, they look cool and let, the colors can pop and stuff but man once I varnish them and I gloss varnish all 98% of my paintings man it just makes them just leap off the paint leap off the canvas you know the colors just jump out at you and then I love it that's that's probably even more exciting than uh, on some level than painting because it really, once you varnish them, man, it really brings them out. And it protects them, of course, we all know that. But here we go. Now this, this we're going to get get excited. <sighs> Look at that. One shot. Bam. Now, I know we talked about this before, but they were all taped on top of that green tape. So I was able to pull it all off. But look at that. Wasn't that dramatic? Doesn't that look awesome? All right, here's some stills. We're coming to the end. Uh, thanks for watching this one. Um, this one's Confliction. 
and I can tell you right now there will be most most surely a series of these some something similar I got a few other ideas this this really started some of my ideas going so yeah uh, get excited but yeah here's some stills there's a couple other ones it just oh that way that white sits oof just awesome I think it's wonderful comment below let me know what you think that that's that's what I'm really here for is let let you let me know what you think here you go bam see I'm sorry I cut the border off I couldn't get it help me tell, tell somebody out there help me take pictures of these damn paintings because that's one thing I haven't perfected yet thanks for watching thanks for listening please subscribe and like and all that good stuff later